Hello Internet. Um, in this screencast, I'll be going over a demo notebook that um, shows an exemplar analysis of uh, CMIP6 DCPP um, datasets with uh, Climpred. Climpred is a high-level Python package that leverages the scientific Python ecosystem to provide an interactive experience for analyzing initialized prediction systems. So Climpred is built on top of uh, uh, other packages such as X-Array, Dask, uh, X Skill Score, um, and a bunch of others. Uh, there's a bunch of other packages I'll be using throughout this notebook, but I won't really go over details about them because uh, this is just supposed to be um, a short uh, demo notebook. So the first thing that I do, I import a few packages that I'm going to need um, in this notebook. So I need to import intake, uh, X-Array, NumPy, um, Climpred, and a bunch of others. Uh, so the next thing that I do, I connect to a Dask cluster. This Dask cluster is running in Google Cloud Storage, um, and I'm using Dask Gateway to get access to some uh, compute resources. Again, I won't go into the details about Dask and Dask Gateway, um, I invite you to check out the documentation for Dask and Dask Gateway. Um, another tool that I'm going to use is Intake ESM. So Intake ESM uh, allows us to work with catalogs of uh, datasets. Uh, in this case, uh, we're going to be using the catalog that points to CMIP6 data residing in Google Cloud Storage. I also won't go into too much detail about Intake ESM. Uh, the only thing to know about it is that basically what we have uh, is um, a catalog that points us to a flat table. So we can look at the first few entries here. And as you can see, um, each row in this table corresponds to um, uh, an asset or a data store or a data set. Um, and you can see the attributes of uh, different columns. Um, and Intake ESM uh, uses some information from this catalog to basically know how to aggregate datasets into compatible datasets. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, look for datasets of interest. So in this case, I'm interested in this variable TAS, which is which stands for uh, near surface air temperature uh, for monthly frequency uh, for this CAN ESM5 uh, model and for these ensemble members. Um, and I'm most interested in this uh, hindcast uh, experiment. So I do a search, and what I get basically is the same thing as what I started with, but with a subset of some with a subset of the original catalog. Uh, so at this point, uh, I can tell Intake ESM to load the data into X-ray objects, and the way that I do that, I use the to dict dict method, and I pass in some extra information here and then I do some formatting um, to conform datasets to what ClimpRed expects. I'll kick this off, um, and in the meantime, I'll make sure that uh, we're connected to our uh, dashboard, uh, our wait. Um, so once we basically get our dataset, which is um, um, a dictionary of datasets, we can look at what keys are in there. You can see that we only have a single key, so I can extract this key, uh, and I'm going to do some uh, data cleaning. Um, so you can see that this dataset has member ID, DCPP, init, time, lat, and long as dimensions. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use this function from ClimpRed that uh, basically um, renames some of the dimensions to things that ClimpRed expects. And I'm going to do some slicing here, and I'm going to compute annual means. Um, and once I'm done uh, with that, I basically uh, have uh, a data set uh, of annual means for the hindcast uh, um, experiment. So what I just did here basically sets up the task task graph, and now we can actually tell Dask to execute that task graph. Uh, so in this next cell, I do exactly the same thing that I just did previously, but this time I'm going to look for the assimilation 
a simulation data sets and we're going to use these as observations um, uh, so as to verify our hindcast uh, forecasts um, I do exactly the same thing as I did previously Retri retrieve the key from the dictionary um, I do some uh, data cleaning I compute annual means for that as well and then I compute the mean across uh, ensemble member and this is what we're going to verify against or compare against so now I have both uh, the hindcast data set which is basically my forecast um, and I have the assimilations which we're going to use our, our observations so the next stage uh, or the next step is to basically create a hindcast ensemble object um, and this object is used by uh, Climpred to, um, it, it's basically used for hindcast systems which initialize their predictions from an, an, observation, an observational product. So in our case, uh, we're using the assimilation, the annual assimilation uh, data set as an observation. And that's what we're going to uh, evaluate against. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we have this hindcast ensemble object and this is our original hindcast data set and this is our assimilation annual means um, so what do we do next we um, we now can actually verify our forecast um, and we're going to use the metric so we specify the metric which equals to ACC which stands for anomaly correlation coefficient um, and we are going to compare the ensemble mean forecast to the verification data, um, which is what the E2O stands for, so E ensemble and then O observation. And we're going to use the alignment equals to maximize a strategy. And this basically tells uh, uh, Climpred to basically use all the available initialization at each lead uh, to basically verify against observation provided. So we run that, and what we get back is a next array data set uh, with dimensions, latitude, longitude, and lead. And as you can see, we have 10 leads. Um, now we can actually look at the anomaly correlation coefficient that we just computed. Uh, so the way we do that, we uh, use the plotting uh, API from X array, and we basically uh, plot each lead uh, as a facet uh, in this grid. As you can see, we have 10 leads and you can see how they vary. Um, so remember that previously we used the anomaly correlation coefficient as our metric. We can easily pass in a uh, different type of uh, metric. In this case, I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did previously, but I'm going to be using the root mean square error uh, metric again I compute that and then I do some visualization and this is what the root mean square error looks like for uh, our um, verified uh, hindcast forecast so now let's do something uh, more involved so this time we're basically going to detrend our hindcast uh, on your means and our assimilation annual means before we can actually do the uh, forecast verification. To do that, I wrote this custom function that basically uses uh, polyfit from X-Array um, and polyval to basically uh, do the detrending. So I call that function on both my hindcast dataset uh, and my assimilation um, dataset. Um, and then I initialize this hindcast uh, detrended uh, object uh, with uh, the detrended data sets that I just computed. Um, so we're basically doing exactly the same thing as, as what we did previously, just that this time we're using detrended data. Um, now we can um, do the verification again. Uh, this time we're going to use a different uh, metric. Um, um, we're going to basically keep everything as is, and then we're going to specify the reference uh, 
um, forecast, which in this case is the persistence. Um, so we compute that, and if you look at what we get this time, we basically have um, a new dimension, which is the skill. So as you can see, uh, we now have the skill that has um, two values, so the initialized and the persistence. Um, now we can basically compare the two, um, and the way we would do that is basically do some plotting of the initialized um, skill, um, do the same thing for the persistence skill, and then compute the difference uh, between the two, and then do the plotting of that. And what we get is basically uh, a facet grid where we have the first row as our initialized skill, um, and then second, that's our persistence skill, and then the third row corresponds to the difference between the two. So again, there's a bunch of stuff that I didn't cover um, because this was meant to be a um, demo notebook that gives a brief overview. So I invite you to check out the documentation page of Climpred um, and um, please get involved. This is something that uh, you find to be useful and uh, if there are uh, features that you would like to see in Climpred, uh, reach out uh, at this GitHub repo. Thanks.